Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my through the mail autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug them for an autograph. We're back at the $2 table at Triple Play Vintage and looky looky, a 1965 Bobby Richardson that needs a little love. I'm gonna take it home. And what's this? Mailbox footage this early in the video? Am I getting lazy? Nope, my friend Chad, also known as Cool Plastic, sent me a couple of 1959 Bobby Richardson cards too. Sweet, thanks Chad. TTM fuel obtained, let's draw something. Who should I draw today? How about Ron Gant? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, all right. Bobby Richardson. He is another one of these old guys that I really, really respect, and I'll refrain from making up a story about how he trained to be an ice sculptor but had to give it up because for some reason he could only sculpt proboscis monkeys, and the market for proboscis monkey ice sculptures was rather minuscule in the early 1950s. I will call him Mr. Richardson, and I will tell you about his eight all-star appearances, five gold gloves, seven World Series, is, 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 winning three of them, and his 12-year career that he ended early to spend time with his family. I read a story about how after winning the World Series MVP award in 1960, despite losing that series, I know somewhere Michael Myers is smiling as I mentioned that one, Sport Magazine gifted him a brand new Corvette. He traded that Corvette for a station wagon because Mr. Richardson, much like Clark W. Griswold, was the ultimate family man. Now I'd like my Antarctic Blue Super Sports Wagon right now, and if you can't get it for me, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. And he was a skilled bunter. I like bunts. I know I'm weird. After baseball, Mr. Richardson did some college coaching and tried some politics, and did lots and lots of speaking engagements. Grandma always said don't talk about religion or politics and Grandma was way smarter than I am so I won't get into any of that. I'll just say Mr. Richardson and I might have different views on things but I still respect the crap. I mean heck out of the man. He's another one of those guys that's done more stuff after retirement than I'll ever do in my lifetime. And he still takes time to sign bubblegum cards for silly nerds like me. There's my doodle and two of those vintage cards. I held the third one back just in case. Custom sticker and off to the mailbox. That mailbox footage looks familiar. Let's see what we got. Mr. Richardson's custom card. It's a pre-printed autograph, still very cool though. Signed the 65 and the 59. These cards are so awesome. Really nice signature too. Included his tract about Mickey Mantle. He did keep the doodle, which is perfectly fine with me. So thank you, Mr. Richardson. Thanks, Cool Plastics. Go check out his channel. And of course, thank you so very much for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And please respect. Wagon Queen family truckster. You think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. 